Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I have discovered a new Posca pen alternative and it goes by the name of Artistro. Now I have three packs here to try out and they include uh, a nice metallic set. We also have a medium set and a set of extra fine markers and there are just so many markers in this and I can't wait to get in and try them out. If my math is correct, there are 54 uh, paint pens between these three boxes and I am so excited to actually get them all out and swatch them and make some art with them. Now having a look at these paint pens, the nibs for the extra fine are actually very very similar to the nibs for the uh, PC1M in the Posca brand. I really like that because I really do like those nibs. Now having a look at the medium tip, they are very very similar in size to the Posca PC5M which is a very very good size because that is sort of my go-to size when I want to color in a surface but I don't want to do like fine details. And then we have the really thin ones for those fine details. Now I am very excited today because I'm actually working with Artistro. They are actually sponsoring today's video which is amazing because I am a small channel and I don't really get that opportunity often but the good thing about that is that they have actually given me some affiliate links so that you guys can get a really nice 10% um, off on art supplies if you want to buy them. Now let's learn a little bit more about Artistro. Now they are actually a USA based family business. The good thing about them is as well is that they are artists themselves so you know they're going to make a, an art supply that they'll actually want to use themselves. Now when researching their brand, I actually found that they have so many different kinds of paint pens. They have acrylic paint pens, they have metallic ones, glitter ones, they even have oil paint pens, which sounds really intriguing. I must try that sometime. Now when swatching these, I kind of did go a little bit overboard with the washi tape. I just wanted to mask out some nice even rectangles so that I had a nice uh, neat swatch sheet. Now first impressions for these colours, they are very, very vibrant. They are very bright and really, really nice. I love that gold and silver metallic Pen, uh, pens in that set because they are just so, so shiny and really, really pretty. And the nibs for the extra fine ones I found work really nice. They didn't clog or anything like that, which I actually have uh, had happen with my Posca pens. I especially love that really soft pale violet color and also the turquoise is just so beautiful. I love nerding out about colors if you haven't realized. <laughs> One thing I have actually noticed that in the metallic set they do have a gold but they also have a metallic orange color which when you actually look at it it looks like another kind of gold. So we have two different tones of gold here the first one is your typical, you know, normal gold color where it's like slightly greeny but like really, really nice and warm. And then we have that other gold color which is like almost uh, like a sunburnt gold kind of color that I just really like. I love that there's two different types of gold in the metallic set. So here is my swatch sheet and I had a lot of fun doing slightly different shapes for the different marker sets. <laughs> And yes, I know I spelt metallic wrong. So here are the colors and I really like them. I think I can make some good art with this. Now, just for fun, I actually decided to compare the uh, Artistro gold paint pens with the Posca paint pens that are gold and silver. Now, if you see here, the uh, Artistro pens are actually richer and more uh, deeper in color. I think I have to say I like the Artistro gold better. Now for the art in today's video, I actually want to do a few different things. I've picked three things 
that I love to do with Posca pens and we're going to try them out with these Artistro paint pens to see how well they do in comparison. So the first thing I want to test these guys on is, well, paper. I think paper will be a good start. So we're starting off with a square piece of watercolor paper and I'm just going to color in the whole thing yellow. This is pretty much just because I want a yellow background. And later on, I'm going to go over the top with the uh, sort of main focus of this illustration. This is going to be a good chance to test how opaque these guys are. After I've got my nice yellow base, you know, I could have used yellow paper, but that could be its own kind of video. <laughs> I'm actually going over the top with a light brownie beige color and some white. And I'm just doing some little strokes here and there. And this is going to make a nice background of straw. Now I chose straw because I'm actually going to be drawing chickens in this illustration. I know that is so random. In the future, I kind of want to own my own chickens someday. And uh, I've had a look at a few of the breeds and they are kind of fancy. I really like animals and you know, I've never really drawn chickens at least live ones. Now I did use references today for these little guys and that's just because I wanted to get each detail for them correct. And uh, yeah, these are actual breeds of chickens or at least roosters, which they probably are because I kind of picked the fancy looking ones. And yeah, I know that at least three of these chickens that I've drawn are actually roosters. But yeah, once the base layers were completely dry, I went in and I started adding details over the top with the really fine paint pens. Now I have to say, once the you know original layer of paint is completely dry, these paint pens layer very, very well. The ink inside is really nice and vibrant, as long as you shake the pen properly. Now I feel like, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like the dark colors in these pens are actually darker than the dark ones in my Posca pen set. I was pleasantly surprised with this because I really like to get a big sort of range of tones in my art, especially the brown. I feel like the brown in the Posca pen set, it's just not as dark as the browns that I have in acrylic paints. So yeah, I kind of drew those chickens randomly on the page and I wasn't really liking the composition of it. So I kind of need to fix it up and make it a bit more balanced. So I decided to draw in some little chicks and some eggs. And in the middle, I actually drew some fruit because, you know, chickens love to eat. Now is the time to peel off the tape around the edges. Not so satisfying because I kind of ripped the tape a little bit and may have ripped the paper just a tiny bit as well, but we'll ignore that. So here is my finished chicken artwork and uh, it's quite random, but I actually really like it. it. It makes me think of like a little farmyard scene with some little baby chickies and some colorful eggs. I like it. And now it really makes me want to have some pet chickens of my own, except I can't because of where I live. Now, another thing I really love to use Posca pens or, you know, just paint pens with is wood. Now to start off, I'm actually going to add a layer of gesso just because I really like the uh, surface that this gesso has and it seals the wood really nicely so the paint doesn't absorb into the surface. And we're going in with the background first and I'm adding a really nice dark blue for the background. The edges I'm painting gold because I really want to test out that really nice gold color and uh, I'm actually going to test a lot of the metallics in this one, but I really love that gold. Now I was trying to think of what I wanted to draw on this round uh, sort of plaque and it came to me. It is Christmas soon and I really want to get in and make a lot of Christmas art before the season's over. So I'm going to draw a nice little Christmas wreath on this. It was just so perfect, I had to do it. Now I started off drawing a round shape on this plaque and it doesn't matter that it's not completely a circle because this wreath is being made with plants and obviously plants, you know, don't go by rules of symmetry and all of that. I did one which was a rough uh, round shape and then after that I did a more sort of weaving in and out sort of vine shape just to add a little bit of thickness and I have two different types of leaves here. We have one which is more like your sort of Christmassy uh, like tree leaf thing. And then we have one which is your more traditional kind of vine leaf thing, which I like. 
Now after this, we're diving straight in with the metallics. I am using some silver, some of the pink sort of color, and of course that beautiful warm orangey gold for some stars. These are going to be some Christmas ornaments which are connected to this reef to add a little bit of glitz and glam and color. After this, I decided I wanted to paint on some candy canes. So we went in with the white paint pen and then after that I let that dry a little bit before I put the details over the top and I went in with the red metallic pen and drew some berries all over the thing. After this I went in with some yellow because I just wanted to brighten up the illustration a little bit and I used that yellow to draw a, a slightly different shape of Christmas ornament. It's more of like a, a, a lemon shape but we're just gonna say it's a Christmas ornament. <laughs> and then after that, I actually went in with the fine paint pens and I used the light green to just add a little bit more detail to those leaves. Cause I felt like with all of the colors, they were just disappearing a little bit and I wanted to define them a little bit more and test out those really fine tip pens as well. After this, I went in with some light blue dots in the background just to give it a snowy vibe. And I also used a little bit of metallic blue in there as well. And after that, I went in just with the uh, ornaments to add a little bit more detail and shine. This one was really, really fun to draw. And I just love the way that it turned out with all of the little details and everything. I think it comes together really nice. So here is the results of the painting on wood section and I absolutely love this. I felt like it worked really nice on the wood surface. Uh, yeah, I loved it. So you guys knew this was coming. Uh, one of my absolute favorite things to paint on with paint pens is, you guessed it, terracotta pots. I have made a few videos where I have drawn on terracotta pots with Posca pens and what would a Posca pen alternative video be without actually testing them on my favorite thing to draw on. I just love customizing uh, flower pots, giving them different designs. I really love making them and I definitely recommend you try it if you haven't. I just want to have a whole wall with plants in them and have each pot differently designed and completely unique. So with this pot, I wanted to draw lots of different shapes all over it. Now, at first I was going to do some triangles and then later some like squares and stuff like that. But I kind of just got really obsessed with drawing these triangles. I just really enjoyed it. So much so that I actually decided I was going to fill this whole pot with lots of different colors and size triangles. Yes, triangle. Why not? I actually really like the way it's looking and it kind of reminds me of a mosaic pot where they stick on lots of different tiles to make a design or picture. How fun is that? I just really love that look and the colors look really, really nice on that sort of creamy orangey color of the terracotta. They pop out really, really good and they are quite opaque over it. Now for the color placement, I really tried to make sure that uh, each color was not directly next to something of the exact same color. Just because I really wanted this pot to look really colorful and have each color shine from the pot, uh, no matter what angle you're looking at it. Now with the really big triangles, I was kind of limited to the 12 colors of the medium sized pens. That wasn't a problem at all because after I did those, I filled in all of the gaps with the extra fine tip pens. And I have a lot of those colors. I have 30 of the regular ones, as well as another 12 in the metallic pack. So we have a lot of colors to fill in here. This is a very simple design, but it was so fun to just fill in the whole area. And I feel like the end results is something special as well. As I said earlier, it makes me think of a mosaic, which I kind of really want to do in real life. Imagine actually making mosaic art. That, that sounds really fun. But anyway, I used every single color of pen on this pot. And I have to say, I really, really love those metallics. They're just super colorful and extremely shiny. 
Other than that, I really like the pastel colors as well. They're just really nice and soft and pretty. And uh, yeah, I really like pastels, so I guess I have to mention them. But yeah, I am very, very pleasantly surprised. These pens work very well on the terracotta pot and even the wood and the paper as well. They are very comparable to Posca pens and uh, so much better than the last paint pens that I tried out. I'm still salty. Now, would I recommend these to you guys? Yes, I definitely would. And I'm not just saying that because they sponsored today's video. I am using my own personal opinions. I love these paint pens and I'm definitely going to be using them myself in the future with my Posca pens as well as just by themselves because they are great. Here is the results for the plant pot and I just really love the way all of the colors work and I love all of the other artworks that I made in today's video as well. Speaking of, here they are. <laughs> So thank you all so much for watching this video and thank you to Artistro as well for sponsoring this. I was so happy when you guys contacted me. If you're interested in these pens, definitely check them out. I do have a, uh, a coupon link in the description and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.